our 2015 Sierra Club Glacier National Park Service Project started out with some challenges this year. Because of the Reynolds Creek Fire, our primary and secondary campground sites, Rising Sun Campground and St. Mary Campground, were closed the week we were there. Fortunately, due to the efforts of Jessica and Liz, we were able to obtain the use of the Mini Glacier Group Campground site as our base for our service that week. This beautiful part of the park includes the 100-year-old Mini Glacier Hotel, where we heard ranger talks and enjoyed watching the Red Jammers. With all our tents, the group campsite was a bit crowded, but there were no complaints as we all enjoyed this gorgeous area. Our service this year included 22 volunteers who flew or drove to Montana from Nevada, California, Oregon, Florida, and Utah. Elizabeth from the Crown of the Continent Research Learning Center taught us citizen science in the classroom in Apgar Village on Monday morning. We learned how to find and then tell the sex and ages of bighorn sheep and mountain goats and also how to conduct pika surveys. Then we drove to the Two Medicine area on the east side of the park where Elizabeth continued her excellent training, this time in the outdoors, and loaned us the binoculars, scopes and tripods, GPS units and pika kits that we would be using the rest of the week. We immediately proceeded to start with our citizen science census taking. We hit the trails again on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and oh, what beautiful trails they were. We took our equipment and citizen science survey forms and formed into various teams based on whether we wanted to hike two miles round trip up to 14 miles round trip. Using trail maps and GPS units, our teams would hike to the specific GPS designated survey location to conduct our surveys. The pika areas were designated by an aluminum tag in the center of a 12 meter site where we searched for not only pikas but also for haystacks and scat. On Thursday, we faced some lightning and rain but kept on smiling and kept on doing the main component of our service. We kept on searching. On Wednesday, we took a break from our surveys and were able to volunteer our service at the Many Glacier Campground. Liz, the campground director, after taking our group picture, gave us the opportunity to help clean out all of the fire pits at the different campsite locations. We were able to remove a pickup load's worth of ashes from the fire pits and then transport to and put pea gravel around the perimeter of the fire pits. Earlier that year, a fire had started when plants grew near a fire pit and ignited, and our efforts will help prevent that from happening in the future. Liz was very grateful and wanted to extend her and her staff's thanks again to our hardworking volunteer crew of Richard, John and Chris, Valerie, Katie, Robert and Christian, Adam, Sheila, Margaret, Bob, Tessie and Sam, Vern, Misty and Roger, Tom and Joyce, Tina, Nancy, and Bill. You did good. The east side of the Going to the Sun Road opened up again on Friday, and several of us were able to go to the Logan Pass Star Party that night, where they had set up some ginormous telescopes where we were able to get close-up views of the stars, and then also photograph the Milky Way and all of its beauty in this incredibly dark sky area. This seemed to be a fitting ending to a great week. Some of you who weren't there might ask, did we see any bighorn sheep, pikas, or mountain goats during our census taking? We did, but it seems we found more of them outside of the survey areas than we did in the survey areas. We reported all that we saw, filled up our census forms, and were assured that all of the data collected was important. 
The following Monday, when we turned in the forms and returned our binoculars, scopes and tripods, GPS units, pica kits, and bear spray, which thankfully we didn't have to use, the staff at the Crown of the Continent Research Learning Center was very grateful for all that our Sierra Club citizen science volunteers had accomplished. Here is a brief recap of what you achieved during your week of service here in Montana. You fully completed 13 citizen science surveys. You removed the ashes and established gravel perimeters around 110 different many glacier campsite fire pits. And not counting all your travel to get to or return from Montana, your total volunteer service was equivalent to 83.65 paid employee eight hour days. In addition to the high praise from Jessica, the VIP coordinator, and all the Glacier National Park staff that were aware of your efforts, I express my appreciation to all of you for your optimism, your teamwork, and your hard work during your volunteer service this year at Glacier National Park. Indeed, many thanks from many glaciers. Like the mountains in a forest, like the mountains in spring.